Hi, my name is Jesse Bonaventura. I'm a piano instructor over at All Star Music Toledo, and this is for Be Instrumental. So we've all been there, right? Uh, you've got a concert coming up tomorrow, next week, next month, whatever, and you're stressed out because you don't have enough time to practice to get it 100% perfect. You don't have the time, poor planning, schedule change, something happened, that doesn't matter. Point being, you've got to play and you don't have the time to learn your music. What do you do? Or at least not learn it to the caliber that you would like to learn it, right? What do you do? The more concerts you actually give, the more, the only way to get comfortable <laughs> with that is by giving more concerts, right? The only way to get better at giving concerts is to give concerts. It seems like a straightforward concept, but you'd be surprised that how often even I, I forget this. It's like, well, you know, I'm like, why am I struggling so much with this, with this piece? Why am I worried so much about it? Why can't I give a good performance? It's like, well, this is like your first or second time playing it for anyone. So, and when I say performance, I don't mean run throughs. I don't mean dress rehearsals. I mean, sitting in front of people who are there to listen to you. That's kind of, that's my definition of a performance here. That being, so your number one tool is playing it for as many people as you can, as many times as you can in a concert setting. That's like it, like treat it. That's, that's, you give concerts friends, family, people who pay for tickets, doesn't matter. That being said, right, your second most useful tool uh, to overcoming your nerves is to ac actually, this is gonna sound counterintuitive, but you wanna practice your mistakes. Now hear me out, that sounds like a terrible idea, and normally it would be. That's not an excuse to, oh, I don't have to learn it, I can just have a mistake. No, you learn as many, as much of the piece as you can. This is for, again, this is for time crunch, or nerves are really impeding you. This It's more about setting, what, what we'll reveal later in this video is that it's more about setting up a safety net for yourself that it is cheating the system and not practicing, okay? If you're practicing making your mistakes sound good, then that's one last thing you have to worry about on the concert stage, right? Because what are we, what are we really afraid of when we get up on that stage, right? It's not necessarily that you miss one or two notes, right? That's That's, whatever right it, it happens it's you mess up so bad that you freak out and can't remember anything else from the page I've seen it ha it's happened to me I've seen it happen but it happens all the time to pros um you just for whatever reason you cramp up and it's like oh my god what's next it's an obvious mistake terrible memory slip you start over at the beginning of the movement chalk it up basically press F in the chat right so what we want to do is to learn how to avoid that, right? So, this is Haydn. Um, let's say that I know that I'm having a problem with this spot here, right? Right? The problem spot is this, right? never know what comes after that right let's then again this this can be as simple as a memory slip it can be um, a psychological thing for whatever reason this part I fall apart after that but what I do know is that for example right I'm looking at pretend the sheet music is in front of me right? if I know that if I know that there right there's a unison right there's two G's at the same time so I wanted to. That's what's that's what I was talking about earlier, a safety net, right? Here's our safety net. So, well then what I, if I know that I'm about to mess up here, but I know that I have my safety net, and half the time I'm doing this, and half the time in my performances, in my practice, I'm doing the right way to do it. Time you get it right, half time it sounds like this. And if you play something, you mess up, then you start over at a part earlier. You're actually teaching your brain that you don't know how to get that one part right the first time. You're teaching your brain to get it right the second time. So, what you do, you play up to your problem spot, stop playing, play up to problem spot. Some people just, well, some people. I've done it both ways. You can wait, right? Wait, safety net. Or you can, so that there's some type of rhythmic um, 
very insignificant. Repeat a few notes, right, in the same rhythm, and then you're safe to add. And the point is that you're creating a literal net between the part, the two parts where you feel comfortable and the problem spot. And if, God forbid, you do mess up that problem spot, you got your safety net to help you out. And even though that sounded like trash in the middle, you didn't get booed off the stage because no one was quick enough to say anything because you were prepared and you had your safety net and, you know, maybe they, that, you know, that spot was weird, but hey, that part, that yeah, sounds pretty good now because you had your safety net and you know how to move on. So point being, practice your mistakes, but don't use them as an excuse to not practice your music. Yeah. When you get up on that stage and start playing. Well, you're afraid that you're gonna forget the notes and you know, press the wrong note. And then you're gonna get booed off stage and then you're never gonna be allowed within 50 feet of a piano again, right? That's, that's what we're really afraid of, right? Is sounding bad in front of all of our friends and family and whoever paid for a ticket to come see us, right? Sorry. What I do, no, it's okay. <laughs> <Continue>. <laughs>